Welcome to Dr. Day's weekly healthy fast and health tip. Hey fellas, uh, this week's health tip is on snoring. Now snoring's a big deal. It's all tied up with the upper earways. It's the sound produced by the vibration of the soft bit at the back of your mouth, the soft palate, and all these sort of soft airways in there. And I'll tell you what, it can be really loud. Have a look at this. But jeez, if your partner snores like that, how the hell do you stop them? Well, one option, of course, is the boot. Now there's a lot of causes of snoring. In kids, it's usually tied up with uh, large tonsils and adenoids, and it's pretty easily treated by uh, going to see a doctor, they'll have a look in there, and if it's real loud snoring and affecting the kid, then uh, it's better they get chopped out. In adults, uh, most snoring is actually uh, due to a combination of being overweight and all the structures around the throat get sort of fatty and bouncy um, and that causes a lot of vibration, uh, smokers and also alcohol. So what I'm saying to you is, is that most people with snoring problems who are adults can sort out their snoring by losing weight, stopping smoking and don't drink as much piss. But that still leaves uh, a reasonable number of people who still have issues with snoring and Sometimes if it's serious then it's worth seeing the doctor and they can have a look and see if there's any sort of abnormality of the throat that may predispose to it. In terms of the treatment, well it's treating the cause um, and it's important not to treat it lightly because snoring can be an indication of a very serious disorder called sleep apnea. You look at our, have a look at our friend now when he snores, he stops breathing. And sometimes that can actually last for up to 20 seconds. And during that time where he stops breathing, his oxygen level goes down and people are at a much higher incidence of getting heart attacks and stuff. So that sleep apnea has to be sorted and it's a marker, uh, snoring's a marker of it. So if your partner snores and then stops breathing for a long time, then that could be sleep apnea and that's needed to be sorted out by a doctor. Now there's so many contraptions out there that you can use to sort of open the airways. Uh, you buy them all on the internet. Uh, some open the soft bit at the back of your mouth, some open your nose and stop all the vibration that goes on. The fact that there's so many of them indicates that no one is the perfect answer. And in fact, a couple of enos and throat specialists I spoke to reckon that generally they don't work and you can spend a lot of money on them. So I think if snoring's a real issue to you, you want to check out with your doc. But before you do, just think of the basics. Overweight, smoking, and too much booze. But do remember, your partner who sleeps with you, whether it's a man, woman, or a donkey, if they can tell you that you actually stop breathing after that, uh, those big snoring sessions for a long term, called sleep apnea, you need to see a doc. So that's it, this week's health tip, fellas. Snoring, so uh, help make this go viral. See you soon.